Hello, I'm Jason Stokes, Fox Rage Angler. Today I've been given an absolute amazing opportunity, and I can't even believe it myself, being given access to fish a cat water using lure tactics. We'll share the moments with you every step of the way, and you'll get to see the tactics that I, I'm going to imply here today to try and catch the cats. I'm going to use various lures today. I'm going to use soft baits and hard baits. Uh, the ones that stand out to me the most, which I think they're going to work, is the new Supernatural Shallow Rep. Purely because there's that much shallow water in here, I'll be able to apply this really well in two foot depths. Um, and also, if the deeper water, go with the hard baits, a lot of noise, a lot of rattle. As cats, you generally use this particular sense to hunt down prey with vibrations. I'll also be casting out the new Pro Grub from Fox Rage. First impressions, it's an absolute brilliant lure. Great big curly tail, should really entice a take. Luckily in this situation there's no pipe present in this lake so we can get away with not using wire traces so for now we're going to be using the Fox 60 pound fluorocarbon. Now a cat's mouth is very abrasive so you need to make sure you use a really good fluorocarbon to handle the, uh, the strength and the sharpness of the, the pads. When fishing for cats you must really beef up your tackle. we are really strong clips, strong knots, strong fluorocarbon and I'm using 80 pound braid and the Terminator Pro Swim Bait Special. It's a nice soft tip to allow for the lunges, but it's got a lot of backbone when you're ready to apply the pressure to the fish. Hopefully this rod will handle the cats nicely today. The first time lure fishing this particular venue myself, so I'm really excited and I can't wait to get on it. I'm not sure what to expect, but I'm sure you'll find out soon. So in this particular lake that I'm fishing today, there's quite a large number of cats, um, probably about the 150 mark. Uh, cats ranging from typical eight, nine pounds up to up to 70 pounds. So it'll be um, good fun if hit one of them. The uh, depth wise, you're looking, fluctuates quite rapidly actually from like four foot down to 11, up to nine. And there's a couple of four foot shelves just a bit further out. Clarity wise, it's not too bad. Um, just got water pumped through this, through this uh, particular pond continuously. With an air rate providing a lot of oxygen for the fish. Oh. That was a perch. And perch want to play ball. For me, uh, for catfishing, lure choice is definitely very important. With the uh, catfish's eyesight being very poor, you need to make uh, a lot of rattle, a lot of noise. Um, I, the replicants, big paddle tail, it's great vibrations, large body profile. Um, or you could go to the end of the scale with the Salmo Hornets. Great rattles, make a lot of vibration for the catfish to home in on as they use these uh, as their main, main sensor for hunting. Oh, come on, cats. I'm sagging over there because the, the overhanging trees providing a lot of cover for the catfish and prey. Also bring it past them lily pads which is another great ambush point for them. My first lure choice today was the new perch pattern for the fox replicants. Because in here there's the main food source is perch. Um, so it makes sense to try and match what they're actually feeding on and uh, hopefully give us the edge on catching that cat.
So the second layer choice now, we've been using the replicants. Where I've been casting, this should be, I should have been having the hits by now. So I think we need a lot more vibration, a lot more noise. So I've gone for this nine centimeter Salomo Hornet. Hopefully this provides a lot more vibration and get our take. About 20 foot off, there's a four foot shelf. So if they just sat against that, they may uh, come up and snatch it as it comes over them. I saw that. Saw fish crash, shut against the margins, cast it to it and hopefully it'll uh, fall one like that. Just shows you definitely cast to uh, showing fish, certainly works. Great hit on the uh, Salmo Hornet there. Wow, the power of these fish. I'm using the uh, Terminator Pro Swim Bait Special. It seems to be handling it really well. Tail swirl. Good 20 pounder, I think. The power of these fish is just immense for the size. First one on the lure, great result. Definitely uh, pushed above this weight, this one. Great scrap. Absolute beast of a predator. Yeah, unfortunately got tangled, it, as these fish do, they like to roll a lot. Uh, unfortunately tangled, tangled up a little bit on the way in. But uh, no damage done to the fish at all. And the, uh, 
what's popped out a tree. As you can see, they, they, they use these uh, barbules here for uh, picking up vibration and for hunting generally. Set at the bottom, filling the bottom, and the two longer ones for gauging prey size and for actually using them to, to, to feel the way around. As you see, the little excuse of an eye doesn't do much on the hunting part. And that's where they get the great big power from, the tail. Put the slime on that leader. It's what covers the cat's skin to protect it. Because they don't have any scales. So they protect them from any diseases. Or anything like that from in the water. Lovely jump right <laughs> We've just caught our first cot on the Salmo Hornet. The sun is just starting to break through now, so hopefully uh, the prey fish will start coming up, moving around, and uh, entice the uh, cats to start feeding a bit more. Well. So what I'm fishing at the moment is a shelf, which is drops from about three foot down to seven foot. This creates a perfect ambush point for the cats. Oh, there's one there, look. Ah. You see the bubbles at the back? Yeah, it's just moved at the back. As I brought, I bet it's moving, started following. It's only shallow here. That's a right about where the, uh, the shelf is from the, this shallow platter in the front here. Casting towards tree roots, shaded areas as well provides great cover for the cats. And hopefully we can tempt one out. Get the rod. Ew. So we've just stuck around, stuck around into position now, and I've been seeing a lot of fry scattering under the trees down here. But I'm, I'm now going to cut the salmon. I'm going to put on the perch, perch replicant. It's a lot more with the uh, the depths I'm fishing. First part of calling is to try and target the cats on the margins, which gives catfish lots of cover. And it's important to let your lure sink right to the bottom as well before you start retrieving. They tend to do, tend to stay on the bottom to catfish, and then rise to any passing prey. With the air rate being not far from me as well, it provides lots of oxygen for the cats and the prey fish. And I'm going to try the fox, the hitcher with a huge rattle, see if that'll entice a bite.
move round. We chuck down the back of them trees in the shaded area. So I've now moved round to this, this sort of area, which has provided lots of shade, probably the most shaded area on the lake. Um, this is very important for catfish, as they, they are generally a nocturnal feeder. But when you uh, pull in lures in front of the faces like this, they, uh, they hard to say no to them. The new seven inch replicant to try, the Xander pattern. Fishing about seven feet of water, so this is perfect lure for getting down to the depths quite quickly. Yeah, twig. I got all excited then. <laughs> Just a twig fish. So as you've seen, I've used a lot of different Lures already today, the replicants, the hornets, and the uh, hitches. But I, I thought I'd get in a, a, a few hits, but just not connecting, so I'm trying to slow it down now, which is why I've put one of these on. It should allow me to fish a lot slower and hopefully get that bite. So, what we have here is the new Pro Grub from Fox Rage. I'm going to give this a try with this curly tail. This is the largest of the size they do, but I've had to modify this for the style of fishing I'm doing today using the same fluorocarbon which is the 60 pound fluorocarbon from Fox. And I've made my own little stinger and I've mounted the treble to the top, which allows me to fish it a lot slower, close to the bottom, especially where the snags are down here. You have fallen debris off the trees. Fry just scattering everywhere. Ha! Ah, well, give it a try down the other side. Just clipped on the new shallow replicant. First cast, straight into a fish. It's 
just shows your cats will come up strike on the surface in relatively deep water as well what 10 foot of water there In a really good fight. That was a decent fish, this one. I've just seen a catfish swirl and rise. I've clipped on the shallow replicant. Chucked it straight out, three winds of the handle, and fish was on. It just shows they will react very quickly if they're on the feed. Ah, they do, aren't they? Hang on, these cats. You're gaining an inch to take five. Feels a good fish. Could be a good 30 or 40 this, Steve. Mm. The way it's not showing itself, it's saying low, look, and it's kicking all that bottom up. What do you want with a good bend in the rod? You're not going down there. No, you're not. No, you're not. But it's only about bloody 20 pounds looking at it actually. Just bloody hang on. Oh no. That's it, straight through the really pads. If only pipe fought like this, eh? <laughs> oh, so... That's it now. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Wow. I can't see it. There we go. Wow. <laughs> what a fight. This rod uh, certainly lives up to its name. Special.
great fish in the net. Put a 30 pound mark, 35 from that. Got a nice, nice width. Let's get it round. As you can see, the lure has done exactly designed what it's designed to do. The sting has come away from the rubber. Allowing for a perfect hook haul. hook perfectly just in the scissors with that net there you go that's the result of a shallow repcot catfish absolute amazing fight an amazing predator. I think I'm as tired as the fish. very important to uh, to rest the fish before you release catfish just when they fought so hard make sure they're really well, well and fit before you let them go you know sometimes you can rest fish up to 10 minutes uh, she's gonna go in a minute tails going now there you go happy days Get another one. <laughs> I've looked into something big here. <laughs> Absolutely smashed the uh, seven inch marble replicant. <sighs> yeah, I switched to a a replicant wobble to fish a bit deeper water and a bigger profile to try and cause more vibrations. Second cast, absolutely nailed it. Big bait, big fish. Certainly make sure. <laughs> so demolish that replicant. There you are, proper engulfed replicant, just sat on its lips. <laughs> 
thick fish, I know that. Very thick. Oh, about fries, ridiculous. But the longer ones. Sorry now, I must get these longer ones. Totally engulfed it. Hook oh, nicely in the scissors though. It's on the top hook. Feed it. Feed it through. So, lift it out. A lot of room in there. <laughs> A lot of room. It's feeding on fry as well. Yeah, well looked. Oh, I reckon this fish will be about 37, 38. Maybe, may scrape may 40. Forty-three, so it's thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Another great cat on the lure. Another beautiful predator on the marble colour fox replicant. Absolutely stunning fish. Certainly put up a big fight as well. Brilliant. Definitely recommend lure fishing for cats. incredible day it's been that fish certainly packed well above its weight great fight I've had fish now on three different layers the replicant wobble the shallow rep and the salmo hornet if you ever get a chance to do it I highly recommend it I know what I'm doing I'm off for a lie down 